miles. Now, can you imagine travelling at over 800 kilometres an hour? Wow. Daredevil Trevor Slaughter is planning to do just that and become the first Australian to hold a land speed record. And Trevor joins me now from Brisbane with his incredible rocket powered machine. That is an awesome looking beast behind you there, Trev. Thank you very much. Yes, it's not rocket powered either, by the way. Oh, well, tell us how it is powered. Take us through the specifications. Yeah, sure. The record we're going for is a world land speed record for a wheel driven vehicle. And inside the engine at present we have is a, uh, a six-cylinder uh, turbocharged engine that is to undertake the initial challenges, uh, testing, etc. And then once we're confident we know what we're doing with the car, etc., uh, that engine comes out and a turbine from a helicopter goes in. Right, so that's some awesome power. In, in terms of good old-fashioned horsepower, how powerful is it? Yeah, the piston engine that we have in there is about 2,500 horsepower. But the uh, turbine, once it goes in, is uh, 4,900 horsepower. <laughs> Man, that must throw you back in your seat. Well, you can't really because there's not a lot of traction. It's a, it's a balancing act between the horsepower you have and the ability to put it to the ground. So you, you can't just nail a thing like in a dragster yeah. and let the thing take off. You've just got to play it nice and gently and feed it into its saddle. And there's only so many places that you could take, uh, you know, a machine like this to really let it loose. Uh, what, what's your plan? Where, where will you attempt to break the record? Well, initially we're going to Lake Gairdner in South Australia. Uh, we're going down there in about a month's time, three weeks to a month. And uh, in that process there we'll be doing some initial testing with the piston engine, uh, engine that is said. Um, and we'll be doing some runs down there towards uh, records. And then later on we'll be heading to the USA to Bonneville. Bonneville, that's, that's the holy grail, isn't it? It sure is, yeah. That's where, you know, in the 60s, Breedlove and Arfons had uh, almost weekly uh, battles for the world land speed record, the outlaw record, that is. Um, we are, I remind you, just going for the wheel-driven record, though. We're a, we're a genuine car. Yeah, and uh, just looking at pictures of this, it, it throws up a hell of a dust storm behind it. Uh, it. What's it feel like to be at the controls of your car? I don't know yet, haven't been in it. Um, <laughs> that's part of the challenge we're going, da going down to do uh, uh, when we go to the Salt in, the, in a few weeks' time. Uh, I've driven the Dragster, and the Dragster, of course, had plenty of traction and plenty of horsepower, but uh, on this uh, we won't have much traction, so it's going to be a whole new ball game. a lot of chasing it around, I think. So we, we'll just see. Take it step, step by step and safely do it, and uh, we'll see what we can do. It, when you go for the record itself, itself, is there any safe way to do it? There must be a, a fairly high degree of risk. Well, we had our opening last night and had the same question posed to me there, and and you know, one of the most dangerous sports in the, in, around is, is lawn bowls. More people died playing lawn bowls than they do racing land speed record cars. So it's just a matter of assessment of the, the, uh, the challenges that we have before us, uh, minimising the risks and having in place uh, actions that uh, prevent any un, un, you know, unfortunate situations. All right, I reckon you'll have a fair indication how well your heart's going at the end of this run. Um, it, it's been a dream for you for a long time. Where, where, where did the germ of this idea start? Um, originally, um, when I was 10, uh, my hometown, Barmer in South Australia, we had uh, Donald Campbell come there with his boat. And of course, in the same year, he ran the car on the salt at Lake Eyre. And sort of, I think that germinated some, some, some thoughts. But uh, I was a uh, crew chief on a, on a dragster team, top fuel dragster team. And in those cars, they're still accelerating at the finish line. And I, it posed the question, well, if we let the thing run for a little bit longer, wonder how far it would go and how fast it would go. But the realisation is, of course, that uh, the dragster will blow up not long after the finish line, if it hasn't already. But uh, it sort of poses the question, well, how fast can you go with a piston engine and a wheel-driven car? And then uh, what is the record and what would you need? And so that was in 1983, and we took uh, 30 years this, this month to uh, realise what we wanted to do. Yeah, well, you know, our thoughts and hearts are with you, mate. Uh, it's a great adventure that you're on. You know, Trevor, it's the sort of thing they make movies about. Who do you think should play you? <laughs> Well, Anthony Hopkins played uh, uh, Bert Munro in The World's Fastest Indian, of yeah. course. And Anthony also played the part of Donald Campbell in, in Donald Campbell's life story when he actually uh, lost his life. Um, so uh, Anthony would be a pretty good choice, I think. He's I, been there before. I reckon you're right. There is a resemblance there too, Trev. I bet I'm not the first to point it out. <laughs>
reckon he's got a bit of Sean Connery about him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trevor. Wish you well, mate. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank take, you very much. Take care. All right, imagine reverse parking that thing. <laughs> Hollywood headlines. With